Good morning, a very happy Christmas to all of you and welcome to the Church of England's online service for Christmas Day. I'm here in Hackney City Farm in London and you may think what a strange place to be for Christmas Day. But what better place could you be than a stable? Because this is where it all began, in a stable. But God, nothing will be impossible. For he is our God. And the God of salvation is making all things new. Amen. Jesus says, come and see. And today we're called to come and see this thing that has come to pass, that the Lord has made known for us. Over the next 12 days, we'll join Mary and Joseph, several shepherds, a stable full of animals. And like the Magi from a different land, we will come into the presence of a child, a small baby born vulnerable and in a stable like this with a donkey a child who will change the world. Presence is a relationship, a relationship beyond words. It's about being truly present with someone. It's about being attentive, attentive with the whole of our being and to be changed by that experience. A friend of mine who's a new mother said to me a few days ago, you know what, ever since I've had that baby, I haven't been able to pray. I've been 24 hours a day just looking after this baby. How can you pray when you've got a baby? And I looked at her and I said, that's your prayer. 
I mean, when else do you have the chance to be in the presence of someone like a mother in the presence of her child? Watch a mother, the devotion, the care, the hours, the waking up in the middle of the night, present with her baby, surrounded by that sense of unconditional love. And that's what I encourage you to do this Christmas, to come into that sense of Christ's presence, the baby who shows us unconditional love and calls us to show unconditional love in return. I hope and pray that as we hear the story of Jesus' birth, you will, in your heart, come into this stable too and enter and dwell in the presence of Christ, the Christ child who longs to dwell in you. He is the one who brings peace on earth and goodwill towards all. And doesn't our world need that at the moment? Oh, come and adore him. Come with the animals of the stable. Come with the shepherds. Come with the wise men. Come and adore him, that Christ, Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Born in a stable so bare, born so long ago, born beneath the light of a star, he who loved us so, far away, silent he lay, born today, your homage pay, for Christ is born, born on Christmas Day. Lord, we give thanks for that birth. We give thanks for a birth that changed us and changed the world. And we pray that like the shepherds, we too may know that peace on earth and goodwill towards all. Amen.
a reading from Isaiah chapter 9, beginning to read at verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You never ever forget a birth. I remember my father calling from the bedroom window, come and see, you've got a baby brother. I remember running up the stairs and then going into the room, seeing my brother for the first time. I remember my mother holding this tiny little baby in her hands, a priceless, a fragile treasure, this tiny wet head, the half-closed dazzled eyes, the crumpled skin, the tiny fingernails. Every birth is a miracle of God. You too are a miracle of God. You too are that child, the beloved of God. How much does God love us? This much. The Christ child laying helpless in a manger in a stable shows us how much he loves us. The child is the fulfillment of all that we are and all that God hopes we will become. It is a love an infinite love that takes your breath away. It is Emmanuel, God with us now. And God comes to save the world with his love. Let us hear that story again, a story that you've heard many times before, perhaps since you too were a small child, but a story which never ceases to amaze and to call us to come closer so that we too can become witnesses of this miraculous birth. This is how the birth of Jesus took place. Luke chapter 2, beginning to read at verse 1. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Now in that region there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you news of great joy. For unto you is born a child, a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host singing praises to God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to God's people on earth. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Come, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, that the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and a child lying in a manger. This is the word of the Lord.
Let us pray. In a stable so bare, Lord, you came to be among us. You made your home with us to dwell with us. Lord, this Christmas, may we dwell with you. May we carry your peace in our hearts. May we know your peace on earth and goodwill towards all. May we see your incarnation in one another and in the wonder of the creation that you have given into, us, into our care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, on this Christmas day, we pray for our family and friends and all those we love. We pray for those especially close to us and those who have asked for our prayers. We ask you, Lord, to bind us together with the love of your child, Jesus Christ, that we may know his presence in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, on this day too, we pray for all those parts of the world that long to know your peace. We pray for the Holy Land, for Bethlehem, for Gaza, for Jew and Palestinian, for you were both Jew and Palestinian. Lord, help to bring peace on this earth. Help us to know your presence. Help us to know the peace that only you can bring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And on this day too, we pray for every part of the world. We pray for Ukraine. We pray for those places where there is poverty and need. We pray for our own nation and for the unity of our nation. Peace in this country and a care and a concern for those most in need, including those who are homeless and refugees and all those seeking a place to live. And we remember that Christ is born in the stable of our own lives. In those places of need and poverty, Lord, help us to know that you are Emmanuel, God with us, and nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord, we pray for the wonder of creation, for the wonder of every animal that you have created, every creature, for the sky, for the earth, for the sea, for the wonder of trees and plants and everything that you have entrusted into our care. Lord, on this Christmas day, may we honour creation and may we honour one another and find you in our brothers and sisters. Lord, you were born for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now let us pray the prayer which Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray. May we have the courage and the faithfulness of Mary. May we have the steadfast love of Joseph. May we have the humility of the shepherds. May we have the beauty of this farmyard and the animals here and all of God's creation. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all this Christmas, now and forever. And may you know that peace on earth and goodwill towards all people. Amen. God bless and happy Christmas, everyone. And very best wishes from Hackney City Farm. And a huge thank you to Clover the Donkey and all at Hackney City Farm for making us so welcome and making us experience what a stable is really like. Thank you.